So here you have a chromium. What kind of chromium do you have running right now? Well, first of all, we're here at LCU 14. I'm Mark Rogoski, the director of the Lenaro Digital Home Group. This particular demo here is showing the chromium embedded framework running on a member hardware board, the ST Microelectronics B2120. So this ST board right here, and this is a, a 4K capable uh, board. Uh, yes, it is. And it's running, what, what does it mean, running Chromium? Well, in migrating away from WebKit, people have decided to go to Chromium Blink. And when you run Blink, you have to run it within the Chromium framework. So we looked at the Chromium embedded framework and then extended the graphics uh, support using all of the abstractions for the Aura Ozone plugin using EGL. And it can also be extended to Whalen Weston. We get very sharp, snappy performance. You can see on websites, there, there's no delay. Things work very, you know, very responsive right off the bat. So this is an HTML5 uh, UI for set box. Is that what it is? It's, yes, it's heading in that direction. So supporting the Chrome Embedded Framework to um, render uh, HTML5 web pages. Here we have an example of the same setup running on another member board, the High Silicon board. And here we have the video that's playing. As you can see here with the stack they've aligned, the Chrome Embedded Framework. Yeah. And you can show the nice uh, narrow case here. And then uh, it just, uh, you, can, you can do a bunch of things with the HTML. Yeah, sure. It's, and so what they were trying to show here is for uh, the, some of the details about the board, but also the Chrome Embedded Framework on the Content Module API, running Blink and Aura. So, Aura is an abstraction to the windowing system, so this is an Ozone plugin using EGL for the graphics. And then to render the video, there is a PP API or Pepper API that's implemented to run GStreamer. And uh, this is a big deal, the GStreamer stuff, right? Well, GStreamer has been around for some time. It's a, a very key part of media framework on Linux devices. And we're looking at optimizing the GStreamer implementation to provide very high quality uh, video playback, AV sync, etc. So this means that uh, before there was FFmpeg stuff, and now you can F use GStreamer? Well, FFmpeg is you know, still around, but GStreamer provides a, a modular framework where you can plug in components, sources and sync and filters and graphs and to create these uh, complete um, media framework pipelines. Hardware accelerated. And yes, the, the interface into hardware accelerated. Some of the other work we're doing, you can look at um, you know, some of the other demos have video for Linux, for example, take uh, advantage of hardware acceleration and different windowing protocols. And then we have the on the high silicon. Right, so this is the high silicon board. Both of these boards, the, the ST Microelectronics and the uh, high yeah. silicon boards are both dual Cortex A9 Mali 400. And with the you know, optimizations that we're making, you can run um, you know, video, up to 4K video in some cases, and really be efficient with the use of the CPU when you offload a lot of the processing to the uh, video hardware assisted um, codecs as well as the uh, GPU, the Mali GPUs from ARM. And this is uh, some work you've been doing here at Linaro uh, pretty, pretty quickly, right? Yes, the group was just formally launched at the end of May and really we've, we had our first kickoff sprint in June and within three months we've got three member boards running two on the RDK two, or sorry, and one uh, the A80 board from All Winner on Android with the LSK 310. We base all of our development work on LSK. And the engineers have done a fantastic job in just very short order with you know, the migration away from um, WebKit to Chromium Blink and then to come up with this entire you know, Chromium embedded framework solution with the Aura Ozone plugins has been quite a remarkable achievement in a very short period of time. And th this is a big deal. Yes, this it is. is yeah. this because is this, this is providing, we believe, the for people who want to stay on a uh, Linux GStreamer-based solution, use Chromium Blink, we believe that we're providing a very robust media framework that can be used by many um, silicon vendors or operators to deploy video services. What's next? 
What do you need to do to actually have this deployed everywhere? I think what we're doing now is we're improving the, the pipeline, the GStreamer implementation, closer ties with the underlying hardware acceleration, um, closer ties with the uh, graphics processing units, Mali cores, Mali 400, and, and more future cores, and we're developing what we call a carrier grade uh, video services, tight AV sync, uh, very robust, and it's on the big screen now. It's not just on a little handheld device. You, ha you can drop video frames. You have to have a very rock solid solution, and that's what the, the operators are looking for. How is it different from, uh, let's say, Chrome OS? What, what's different? Well, what's, you have the Chromium browser on Linux. What's going on? It's, well, it's still a, based on Chrome. Everything is, uh, actually, I think I'll call Zoltan in for this one. Zoltan has got more experience on this particular yes. area. Thank you. So, hello. Uh, my name is Zoltan Kushik. I'm a senior engineer at the Linaro Home Group. So, so you've been working on this? Yes, exactly. So I have been the lead architect of, of uh, uh, getting this in place. Uh, basically, your question was the difference between between Chrome OS and and a Chromium browser. So, so what we created here through the CEF and Chromium embedded framework is basically allowing the Chromium browser to be embedded in any kind of UI framework. So you can take uh, GTK, you can take Qt, where you already have the Qt web engine, but this is also an alternative to that, or, or any UI framework and have a browser running inside of that. So it's it's not a full operating system what we created. This is this is this is an embedded browser. Um, so you you this is the best and uh, most efficient browser for ARM powered set -top box. Yes, this right now we, we consider this uh, as a quite a big achievement and a good performance system. So we integrated the Chromium on the top of the Mali 400 uh, GPU. Uh, we still have some work on, on certain places to enable GPU acceleration, but we are progressing very well and uh, all the feedbacks, what we got. Well, that, that and what you've done is open source and it's uh, uh, open source developers are very interested in seeing what's going on exactly, here, right? Exactly. So we are planning to release uh, uh, all changes to the Chromium embedded framework and, and make, make these plugins available to the community. All right, how is Blink? Is it, uh, is it smooth and fast and, and good? Well, you, can, you can try, yes. It's just a UI. Smooth, fast, many frames per second, nice animations. You can compare with existing systems and, and and uh, this is much faster. And and this work can be uh, adapted for the faster CPUs that are, will be coming out, uh, different GPUs too, right? Exactly. So we base all our work on the top of the EGL uh, uh, standard, which basically allows us to, to run the system on, on any GPU that supports EGL. So the target customers are, uh, I mean, customers like users, potentially, uh, uh, set the box makers, uh, like uh, s service providers, like yes. uh, the, the ones that provide TV. Exactly, but it can be also AVIs, uh, in-flight infotainments, or any any areas of application where you need to have uh, good quality uh, video playback uh, and, and uh, an advanced UI at, at the same time.